our ability to actually pick samples and test samples for diseases was limited. Very often, if we were not able to get support from the UVRI, uh, the Uganda Virus Research Institute in Entebbe, we would have to ship these samples abroad to be able to determine what disease we have. So working with our partners from the U.S. called DITRA, uh, they offered to help us construct a biosafety level 2 laboratory that is constructed in Moya. That laboratory is now operational. So the capability of this lab is currently in three forms. One, we can do diagnosis. Uh, two, we can do forensics. What we are, that is, we are developing a pipeline for forensics, especially for wildlife. And then we do research. And when we do research, we do research in bacterial pathogens, protozoan pathogens. We do research in um, viral pathogens as well. We know that the communities around, in this park especially, do engage in eating wildlife. When they find carcasses, they will eat them, especially the hippo carcasses. If someone eats a carcass that they do not know, they don't know the cause of death, it is a, it is a risk to them because you do not know what has killed it, what if it's a pathogen that can kill you. So in the past we've had anthrax outbreaks, both in the wildlife, and then it spills over to human beings, it also spills over to livestock. We are working on, um, on different projects, one to see, because the burden in wildlife tends to cascade to the livestock and then cascade to the human beings. Uh, like for example, a tourist died in, due to Marburg in a Python cave. So we are doing a study to follow up on those parts to see how far do they move from the cave to the villages so that we can sensitize those people that these birds, despite them coming to your village, they are carrying a given disease that may be detrimental to your health. <laughs> 